Where can I put this sticker? I know. In this video, I was stuck for an idea, so I decided to start a series of videos called This Is My Life. And there's going to be some drawing too. My name's Inwills, and welcome to the In Crowd. So hello and welcome back. There was, I don't think I did a personal video last week, so I do apologize for that, but I'm getting back into work and I've been struggling for an idea. And I thought I wanted an idea that would last a series of videos. And I've noticed on YouTube that there has been some, well, quite a while back now, some draw your life videos. And I thought, why don't I hop onto that bandwagon and start a 94 e series episode or se uh, no, not really 94, but a series of videos about my life. So I'm quite the way through my life. So you might expect several parts. So rather than having a six hour video, I've s separated it out to important um, stages of my life. And in this video, we're going to concentrate on birth to age 11. Now, please remember, if you have enjoyed this video or any of my other videos, then please consider liking, commenting and subscribing. Not only will you be supporting my channel and my content, but you will also be supporting my dream. And if you would like to um, help in a little extra way, then you can always um, support me via my Patreon page for as little as $1 a month. And for that, you get some behind the scenes videos, a copy of all my bloopers that happen on these videos during recording and some personal reflections as well. So if you are interested, then the, you'll find the link to my Patreon page in the comments below. So let's get to it. In Wills, this is your life. Cue funky game music that I don't have. Anyway, um, I'm going to try to do some drawing as well, which is of, often a, a very bad idea, but let's just sort of like fade across to this viewpoint. And I've got my graphics pen uh, out and ready. Do I do apologize that, oh, what's that on there? No, what is that? Oh, I don't believe it. I think I've got a, I think I've damaged my graphics pad already. Okay then, so here we go. Here we go. Let's see whereabouts I am on this screen, if anywhere. Let's pick up a suitable um, paintbrush. Oh, this is going to take a lifetime. So, Let's start. I need a fray. I need a, a layer activated. Here we go. So we'll start off looking at my life between zero and 11. You just know this is going to be quality, don't you? <laughs> oh my giddy aunt. What's this going to be like? Okay then. So zero to 11. So let me start off by saying, I'm going to try to draw and talk. So I was actually born um, in 1966, okay? And uh, 1966, I'm not too sure whether or not you know, but uh, England actually um, won the, the the World Cup that, um, that year. Um, yeah, England won the World Cup you have no idea what I'm drawing, don't you? Um, England won the World Cup and a fantastic footballer was created. Now, if you talk to my mom about uh, my life, the, the first thing that she will say um, is that I spent the, the first sort of like part of my life crying. Um, I there is a there is a, a story that goes that the the first um, the actual first night uh, of sleep my poor mother actually got 
was the the first night that my my brother um, was born. Um, so I have a I have two younger brothers, but at this point my younger brother is three years younger than me, and so I was a bit of a crying baby. Now, the other thing that is important to <laughs> to note that there was when I was um, a toddler, when I was a toddler, um, yeah, I looked um, rather barrel like yeah I was roughly the the shape of a barrel um I was very very podgy I was very round I wasn't um the most athletic sort of child at all and as you can see I wasn't a very good drawer either and I had little chubby knees. I remember there's a picture of me with very little chubby knees. And yeah, I was very round and I was a very much a, a nondescript um, sort of like child. There are some stories and I have to say that a lot of the things I'm going to tell you now are stories that have probably been passed down the ages. Um, I do remember that my mom tells a story of me when I was being babysat by my nana who was my dad's mom and my dad mom um, was babysitting me and the story goes that I actually um, attacked her virtually with my um, bottle and actually trapped her behind the television yeah that's that was the sort of baby i was i'm just going to get rid of this because i want to draw down here as well and there's also another story um of me um that once i was out playing and i actually came dashing in um crying like anything because I had dirt on my hand and really and truly things have not changed from there. So I would say as I was young I was in barrel but also uh, attacked my nana with my bottle um, and well threatened her behind the television. Um, now I do remember moving house a lot as I was growing up and we, we moved a lot um, but it, I remember when when I was younger we we oops we had a lot of time oh dear something's gone wrong something's gone wrong oh but this is not working now and we're back we're back I just realized that I I probably should have a cover on my graphics pad. I've never used it before, but now it looks like I've grained something in, but I've got a piece of plastic over it now. So when, when I was um, little, I remember living a lot of the time by the seaside and sand. And then I think we moved up to sort of like a very um, a modern town and a new town, I think it was. I think it was called Corby. Um, and I went to school there and then finally we moved up to where I live now in the north of England and I started to go to school. Now I was um, a bit of a strange child, okay, a bit of a strange child. I remember one of my first days at school I had a, a spelling test and the spelling test was out of 10 and I remember I was doing my spelling test and the the word came up what that was were as in we were doing something and I remember thinking how on heavens do I spell the word were and I remember the girl sat next to me nudging me and showing me her paper and it was my first day at school and I looked at what she had put and she sort of like pointed to how to spell it and I thought right I'll, I'll copy her and she had spelt it like this were and can I say from that point on I never went to her for spelling advice 
never ever ever i i did love school i started off at one school and absolutely adored it but i had to go on a bus journey to get there and this was aged seven or eight and then i changed schools to a school just round the corner from me and i have various memories of um school so one of the um it's not the fondest memory but it's definitely a memory of school i have is that for some unknown reason and i'm not too sure whether or not this is just a clouded memory that i have or whether or not it's not a book that i'm drawing by the way um whether or not this is a just a a clouded memory or whether or not this actually happened but i remembered that i spent the majority of my time in school or so it seemed um sat in a corner in the library and there was this sort of like folding out bookcase and i remember having to sit there and do my work and it wasn't because i was naughty i i think it's just because i was doing different work to everybody else and nobody else sat with me i was just sat there and, and then that was it that, that is the most rubbish picture of a bookcase that i've ever seen in my life never mind we will continue there are some other things that i remember about school and oh i remember cutting out and this is the honest i just don't believe this is hap this actually happened i actually remember cutting out from tin lids hexagons to form a beehive on the wall and honestly i remember cutting using a normal pair of scissors cutting out these tin lids and oh the, we all had to do it but I somehow sort of like um, wanted additional punishment I think it was because everybody was cutting up and there was cuts and blood happening all over the classroom Wh whoever the teacher was must have been mad I mean there was obviously no risk assessment or anything like that and you know just as we're coming to the end of playtime another vein would be sliced by a tin lid and blood would spurt out or something and I actually remember carrying on doing this and actually cutting out hexagons and I I often wonder whether or not that was when I really started to like mathematics but thinking about it it's not my first love of mathematics was that we used to have some um, textbooks and I think that one what they were called alpha beta maths and all I wanted to do was finish a book and get on to the next one and the next one. And I just used to love writing. Couldn't spell, and I blame that girl in the first thing for t teaching me to spell a word. And I loved maths. I would play with numbers. I would work with numbers. I would multiply. I would divide. It was absolutely fantastic. And that's when I think I really thought, I, I think I must have gone on ahead and that's why I was sort of like allocated to the library. I do remember some really scary things um, at school as well. I, I remember being um, stopped on the way out of school by two girls and one girl turning around to the other girl saying, kick him, kick him. And then somebody came to my rescue as I was sort of like, oh, like that. And somebody came to my rescue and said, run run for it and i just pelted it home and that was it yeah and i always remember because when i was at school children could get hit not uh, as well as other children you could get hit by um teachers so i remember um a, a caning demonstration and we were do, do you remember why well, you probably oh this is the rubbishest drawing ever you could see that art was never my um strong point but there was something that was called like a wooden horse in PE and you had to vault over it. I remember vaulting over it to, to a mat on the opposite side that was about this thin. It was incredibly thin, but we just threw ourselves onto it. You know, those were the days. 
And I remember the head teachers demonstrating what a caning looked like on one of those boxes. And I do remember that some children play truant and I was absolutely amazed that they played truant. There was a lot of slippering and slaps with the rulers. Not for me, I never got anything like that. I remember um, being a server at school and the server was somebody you actually um, sat down and you dished out the food. And I remember one of my favorite foods ever was, it was some kind of chocolate, but it was rock hard with sugar on the top, but it came with the wonderful pink custard. I used to love, um, serving that out and having pink custard. I hope hope this is bringing back memories um, for some people or even um, allowing you to see the different um, upbringings I had. I must admit it was while I was at junior school that I also, um, I, well, I didn't fell in, fall in love but I started to play something and I'm going to see whether or not I can draw it here. I, I'm going to fail, I know I am, but just bear with. Um, it was this. And it was, and then it had two dots there. It was the recorder. Oh, I loved playing the recorder. And I, um, the, the first, I used to play in assembly. I used to go up and play in assembly. And I think we used to have a book called Come and Praise. I think it was Come and Praise. And the, the first um, recorder tune I learned to play was Alleluia, Sing to Jesus. I think it went. And it was all on G, A and B. And I think there was a D and a C in it. but. This was sort of like the passage. If you could play that, you know you were in. And I do remember one of the one of the um, pieces of music that one of the songs that we always played, uh, always sang, was something um, called "When a Knight Won His." Was it "When a Knight Won" or "When a Knight Wore His Spurs"? I forget. But I always remember. I think it was written in um, three flats or something like that. And I always remember there was a bottom E flat and bottom E flat on a recorder is those three fingers, these three fingers, and then you had to cover half the hole up. And I remember the um, class, the piano player, Miss Parker, um, we all got so like got up and none of the other recorder players got up to sing When a Night War in its Spurs. And I remember getting up and her saying, it's in three flats, it's in three flats. And I was just like, yeah, okay, then bring it on. And I can remember me all by myself playing when a knight wore his spurs with three flats that nobody else did. And you know, you would have thought my my reputation just soared there. I just think I became more geeky. Uh, there was one thing in primary school that I was really, really bad at. Absolutely atrocious at. It was unbelievable. I was so bad at it ever. And that was swimming. Okay, I couldn't swim. Um, this is me drowning, if you're um, wondering. I couldn't swim um, to, to save my life. And I do remember the head teacher once getting all the juniors to stand up. And then, I don't think there was any infants then. We were just sat on the floor. And all the juniors had to sit down and he said, so stand, sit down if you can swim. And everybody sat down and that was fine. And then he said, uh, so sit down if you're in what used to be, um, I think it was called first years juniors. I think that's equivalent to year three. If you're in first years juniors, sit down now. Second year juniors, sit down. Third year juniors, sit down. And fourth year juniors, sit down. So. It went, sorry, it went to third year. And so everybody who could swim was sat down. And then the f juniors one, two, and three were sat down. So it was only the fourth years stood up who couldn't swim. 
I couldn't swim a length. And there was only one person stood up. Moi. In the whole of the juniors, everybody in assembly, there was just me stood up who hadn't swim my length. And they, I remember Mr. Roberts, I think his name was, um, saying, children, look round and look at the one person in the juniors who cannot swim their length. And everybody sort of like turned round and I think probably went wet, red, very red. And I don't think, I think I actually did swim the length, but I think I cheated and put my foot down on the floor every now and again. And I eventually swam my length, but I think it was out of fear rather than um, any anything else. The other thing that I do remember, this is probably so boring and most people are probably turned off now. Um, the most, the other thing I really remember about junior school um, were the class pets. And we, we don't have pets anymore in school. Well, we don't have a lot of pets anymore. And I, we had some wonderful pets, I tell you. There was one point, and I kid you not about this, we had a hare. Yeah, not a rabbit, it was a hare living in the classroom. And I remember it so well. It was a huge brown hare and a fluffy white rabbit that was took two of us in fourth year juniors to actually lift. You couldn't lift it by yourself. And I remember we had a hamster that we lost and we found it inside a dictionary. And one every Friday afternoon, it used to be topic work. And I used to really love topic work because basically what you could do is research anything you wanted. You basically got a book from the library and wrote something about it. And this is how diverse my learning was. So my first topic was about lifeboats. How manly and butch was that? Lifeboats. My second topic, <laughs> and honestly, I, I do wonder how my mind works. So the first topic I wrote was about lifeboats. The second one was about butterflies. I know, I just, I just don't know. I honestly, I don't know. And I remember sitting by myself, still by myself, not, not having a lot of people to play with at school, spending a lot of times in the library by myself, but being happy, um, I was more than happy and this sort of like learning away. And then came the wonderful day when I did my 11 plus. Now, if you're not familiar with 11 plus, the 11 plus used to be a test that you took in year six or fourth year juniors. And if you passed, you went to a grammar school in those days, but if you failed, you went to what's called a secondary modern school. And secondary modern was co-ed, so boys and girls, males and females. Well, grammar schools were all boys and all girls. And I don't remember taking the 11 plus at all, but I remember really liking puzzles and trying to solve. I used to love logic problems and things like that. You can still get them today. And I, I always, all of a sudden, I remember one morning realizing that I'd passed my 11 plus. And it turned out that out of my class, that was about 30, there must have been about 30 children in it. I was the only child that had passed the, the 11 plus. Okay, I had passed it. And to make matters worse, or better, not only was I the only child, I was definitely the only boy, okay? I, I'm sure I got a, a cup for it. The school must have been celebrating. Yeah, we got somebody to pass. And that sort of like started off the next part of my life when I went to grammar school. Now, if you would like to <laughs> see uh, when I went to grammar school, then you will have to come back 
and just putting everything back up. You would have to come back next time and see what it's like. I hope you've enjoyed Zero to Eleven and those stories from my childhood. Um, sorry if they were a bit strange. I, I don't remember a lot of them. If, Like I said, I was born in 66, so you can figure out how old I am. But next time we will go from 11 to GCSEs. Yeah, or in my time, O levels. So 11, so it'd be all secondary school. So if you're interested about me in secondary school, then don't forget to press that bell button and come back. And when you, if you press the bell button, you'll get a notification when I'm streaming again. I hope you've enjoyed this moment in my life and do come back and see the other parts. Until then, please, please remember to have fun and I will catch you all later. And until then, see ya.